Hello YouTube. Today I have this charge controller. It is a PWM charge controller from Sunwall Eco Group. It's a Chinese company based in China. I decided to go for this charge controller because my first charge controller cannot get my battery to charge up to 100%. So I decided to try this cheap charge controller and see how it's going to perform. So here is the boxing. It's indeed a very very cheap charge controller. I got this below $20 and it came in 3 weeks to my country. This charge controller from Sunwall has two USB ports underneath it for charging your phones or your tablets. Here is the business card that came along with the package. Some more equal group. And um, here is the manual. Shows the operation, installation, and everything you need to know about this charge controller. The maximum amount of watts it can receive from the solar panel. So on, just like that. I know cheap things don't perform so well, but I decided to try this charge controller based on the experiment and performing. So here are the two USB ports to do them for charging your phones and tablets and any other thing USB. It could be USB fan, anything. And at this place, you see is a 12 volts, 24 volts charge controller. Meaning it can work on the 12 volt battery system and 24 volts battery system. The rated current is 30 amps and the maximum DV voltage is 50 volts. Now, this charge controller can accommodate 450 watts coming from a solar panel. That's if your system is a 12 volt system. When I mean 12 volt system, I mean your battery should be 12 volts. It doesn't matter how many you have. You can have a 6 volts battery, you can have a 2 volts battery, but when you add all in series, at the end of the day, you should have a 12 volts coming out of your battery. Such a system is what we call a 12 volts battery system. On the other hand, if you have a 24 volts system, meaning the total volts of your battery, no matter how many batteries you have, should be equivalent to 24 volts. If you have a 24 volts battery system, then this charge controller will allow you to have up to 900 watts of solar input. That is huge. Also, notice the inverter you use on 12 volt system can never work on a 24 volt system. So you should bear that in mind. When you want to set up your own panel, or sorry, when you want to set up your own solar system, you should have the idea of how many volt system you want to go with. 24 volts is usually more, you know, you have more power when you want a 24 volt system than when you want a 12 volt system. Now here is the internal of this charge controller. As you can see, I don't know what this white substance is.
that is the LCD display and the connecting terminals. Okay, so I want to couple this charge controller now and in another video I will be testing this charge controller with my 250 watt solar panel. I wish this could charge my 200 amp hour battery and take it to 100%. But in case this charge controller is not able to do that, then I have no option than to go for an NPPT charge controller. And uh, I have no other brand in mind than the Tracer series by EP Solar. I've read so many reviews about that NPPT charge controller and I'm ready to give it a try. So, whatever happens depends on the performance of this charge controller. If it's able to charge my battery well, fine. If it's not able, I'm going for an NPPT charge controller. So, stay tuned on this channel as I update you on the progress towards building my solar